Hello, shut up. The cars are so loud. Hello, ladies and genitals. Welcome back to my daily motion channel. Actually, this isn't my daily motion channel. This is my motherfucking second channel. I haven't uploaded on here in so long, but I am back now. If you're new here, don't forget to go subscribe to my main channel, Simone Squared. I'm filming a main channel video, which is why I got my green screen out. So I just figured we're gonna use it for this video. Okay, what are we talking about? Today we're talking about how to make people like you. First things first, if you want someone to like you, number one, remember their name and always say their name in conversation. Your name, anyone's name, is the most pleasant thing to the ear. And if you want to know more about this, you can read How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's a wonderful book. So yes, always remember people's name. And if you forget their name, Never be like, hey, I forgot your name. Don't ever say that. Just try to work around it, figure out their name, Google it when you get home, ask someone else, but never ever say, I forgot your name. And that kind of goes with any other, deta other details someone gave you, especially if it's an important detail and you forgot it, don't ask them. Try to weave it into the conversation where they naturally just repeat what they said to you. Second, when in conversation with someone, don't talk about yourself unless they ask you to. People love to talk about themselves and if you get someone to talk about themselves, they're gonna like you a lot more. Have you ever been in conversation with someone and they just turn the conversation around on themselves all the time? I have and it's the most annoying thing and this is actually something I notice the most when I talk to new people. I think about how good are they responding to what I'm saying? Are they actively listening? Or are they just turning the conversation on themselves? Whenever you talk to someone, ask a question back. For example, this is a real conversation I had with someone. I said, we're getting to know each other. And I was like, what uni do you go to? What do you study? And they literally were just like, I study da 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 da. That's it. But they wanted to talk to me. They were just super bad at making conversation. And I was like, uh, thinking, are you not gonna ask me something? So yeah, this person loved to talk about themselves and did it make me like them? No. Another point, if you want to make friends and you want them to like you, this is a mistake I notice a lot because I always, I always get a lot of DMs. Simone, I would love to be your friend. I think we'd be great friends. Ah, this is where you're going wrong. If you want to make friends, if you want to make friends with people, you can't go with the approach, hey, I would like to be your friend because I think you're really funny or I think you're really good at giving advice. This is something I get a lot. I get DMs like this and it doesn't make me think, oh, I would love to be your friend actually. No, what I think is you just want to take from me. If you want to make a friend, you want someone to like you, you point out similarities, you point out what you can offer them as well. I actually made a friend through a DM, shout out Rachel, she's the only friend I've made through DM. She's the only person I actually ever replied to and it was because she basically was pointing out similarities between us and how she could be a good friend to me and I would be a good friend to her. It's kind of like a job interview as well. If you want to get hired, you don't just like go into a job and say, this is what you can offer me or like, this is what I would like to get out of the company. Yeah, that's important later on in the interview, but they want to know why should they hire you? Why are you good? Why are you good for this job? It's a two way street. What can you offer your friend? What can that friend offer you? So if you want someone to like you, don't make it all about you. Don't make it all about what they can offer you as well. Never ever criticize, condemn, or complain. No one likes to be around someone with bad energy or someone that's constantly complaining and criticizing people because at the same time, even if they're not criticizing you or complaining about you, you're subconsciously thinking they're gonna do it about me. They might be thinking this about me one day. At the same time, do not gossip. No one likes a gossip pot. In high school, I used to gossip a lot. Um, naturally, I was a kid, but I absolutely don't do it now. And when I meet new people, if they're very, very freely gossiping around me, I do think, what are they saying about me behind my back? And are they gonna go and tell other people my personal business? So don't gossip, don't tell other people other people's business because they shouldn't be knowing it anyway. Here's another point. If you want to call out someone's mistakes, they've done something wrong, do it privately in a non-confronting setting. This is the best example I can give. You live with roommates. Someone doesn't wash the dishes or they left a mess somewhere. If you do not want your roommates to hate you, you don't, you message the group chat and you say, whoever did this, can they clean it up? If you directly point someone out, 
hey, at this person, clean up your shit, they're probably not going to like you because you're embarrassing them. You're pointing out this mistake in front of everyone and it's just not the right thing to do. My old roommates were really good at this. They'd be like, hey, can anyone clean up this mess? And then I had this one roommate and she would directly tag people. And bitch, I did not like her. So, you want to call out someone, do it in a non-confronting setting, do it privately, and do it gently because nobody likes to know the mistakes. Also, you guys, I fake tanned, but I have these, these, these studio lights and it's making me look pale as hell. So, I'm I'm mad. Look at this. Bitch, I'm tan. You can't, but you can't see it. You can't see it. My camera never picks up my tan. Oh, sorry, I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> see, I'm literally in my pajamas. <laughs> okay, that's the it for this video. Why, why can't I talk? What the fuck? That's the it for this video. Babes. Yep, that's it. This. I did it again. That's the end of this video. If you want more videos, leave a comment below. Oh, I gotta stretch. Go check out my main channel and ich liebe dich. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi otra madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra. Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán. Madre quiero saber en verdad quién soy yo. Y sí, tal vez tengo un síndrome. Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes. Ten medi.